Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Autonomous Academy. My name is Muskan Thakur, I am MSc student. Today, in this video, we will discuss about the most important parameter of the plasma that is Debye length. First of all, we will talk about plasma criteria. As we know that matter can appear in four different states. In solid state matter, atoms and molecules have the least freedom to move. In liquid state, the freedom to move is a little more expensive and in gas, atoms and molecules can more independently move. But the electrons are obeying the laws of nuclear physics that is bound to their atoms. In the plasmatic state, the electrons are completely separated from the atoms and therefore have entire freedom of movement. Plasma is considered as gas showing the collective behavior and consisting of particles which carry positive and negative charges in the extent that the overall charge comes to zero. Plasma is electrically neutral to the outside if the number of positive and negative charges equals in a sufficiently large volume and for a sufficiently long interval of time, this balance is referred to as quasi-neutrality and any equal to z into n i. This is equation number 1 and here z n i minus n e upon z n i will be less than equal to uh, very very less than 1. It is equation number 2nd where this n e is electron density and n i is ion density and number of negative charge per unit volume is equal to number of positive charges per unit volume. Now Debye shielding. There are many types of plasma in nature. The parameter of each plasma vary, allowing us to identify each plasma. Debye shielding parameters have an important role in distinguishing two plasma isolates. A fundamental characteristic of the behavior of plasma is its ability to shield out electric potential that are applied to it. Suppose we try to put an electric field inside plasma by inserting two charged balls connected to a battery. The balls would attract particles of the opposite charge and almost immediately a cloud of positive ions would surround the negative ball and a cloud of electrons would surround the positive ball. Here we assume that a layer of dielectric keeps the plasma from actually recombining on the surface or that the battery is large enough to maintain the potential in spite of this. If the plasma is cold and there is no thermal motions, then there would be just as many charges in the cloud as in the ball. The shield in would be perfect and no electric field would be present in the body of the plasma outside the clouds. If the temperature is finite, those particles that are at the edge of the cloud where the electric field is weak have enough thermal energy to escape from the electrostatic potential well. The edge of the cloud that occurs at the radius where the potential energy is nearly equal to the thermal energy Kt of the particles and the shielding is not perfect. Potentials of the orders of Kt by E can leak into plasma and cause finite electric field to exist there. Now Debye shielding distance or Debye screening length. According to the Gauss law we know that delta E is equal to rho by epsilon naught. Formula shows the electric field due to the presence of charge density and electric potential is represented by V or phi. According to the Coulomb's law, potential at distance R due to the charge Q can be given by V equal to phi equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. The relation between potential V and the electric field E is given by E is equal to minus delta V or E is equal to minus delta phi. This can be given as equation number 3 and on differentiating the above equation number 1 gives E equal to minus dv by dr which is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square. Here the delta is three dimensional operator which is also known as gradient and that delta can be written as delta equal to i del by del x plus j del by del y plus k del by del z. 
putting the values from equation number 3 into equation number 1 we get minus delta square phi equal to rho by epsilon naught or we can write delta square phi is equal to minus rho upon epsilon naught. This or this equation is known as Poisson's equation. Now let us assume that positive space charge in plasma is constant that is Ni equals to N naught and number of electrons in per unit volume charge according to Boltzmann can be Ne equals to N naught exponential E phi by kT. Inside the plasma electrons per unit volume follow the Boltzmann distribution function because they have to balance space charge here Ne is varying and can change up to N naught. In the equation number 4, if phi is equal to 0, then Ne will be equal to N0 maximum, that is, number of electrons equal to number of ions. But number of ions will always be more than electrons. Since number of ions per unit volume is fixed, only the number of electrons only will change according to Boltzmann distribution. And delta square phi will be equal to minus E n naught minus N E upon epsilon naught. Here, this term E n naught minus N E is charge density that is rho. And hence, we obtain N E equal to N naught exponential E phi by kT. We know that it needs a large amount of energy to eject an electron from atom. So, we can write E phi is very less than kT. Here, the temperature of plasma is very high. So, on expanding this exponential in a Taylor series and keeping only the linear terms, we get N e equals to N naught and in the bracket 1 plus E phi by kT. So, substituting this value in the equation of Poisson's, then we get delta square phi is equal to minus E by epsilon naught and in bracket N naught minus N naught 1 plus E phi by kT. Now, taking out the n naught, then we get minus n naught e upon epsilon naught and in bracket 1 minus 1 minus e phi by kT. And cancelling this 1 by this 1, we get delta square phi equal to plus n naught e square phi by epsilon naught kT. Now, on converting it into one dimensional formula of radius, we get d square phi by dx square is equal to n naught e square upon epsilon naught kt into phi. Let the solution of this above equation is phi equal to phi naught into e to the power ax. On differentiating this phi equals to phi naught e to the power ax, we get d phi by dx equal to a phi naught e to the power ax. And on again differentiating this, we get d square phi upon dx square is equal to a square phi naught e to the power ax. On substituting the value of phi, uh, we as we have phi equals to phi naught e to the power ax. So on the place of phi naught e to the power ax, we can write phi. So we get d square phi upon dx square is equal to a square phi. This is equation number 6. Solution of the equation number 5 is given by equation number 6. Only if we get a square equals to n naught e to e square upon epsilon naught kt. We got this by equating the equation number 5 to equation number 6. So we can also write a equals to n naught e square upon epsilon naught kt whole power 1 by 2. Here, potential phi is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r. And here, r can be written as x on considering the one dimensional case in the x axis. So, putting the value into the solution, we get phi equals to phi naught e n naught e square upon epsilon naught kt whole power 1 by 2 into x. And phi is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. If this r tends to 0 then phi equals to infinity or we can say x tends to 0 so phi tends to infinity and if this r tends to infinity then we obtain phi equals to 0 or we can say x tends to infinity then phi equals to 0. If phi naught is maximum potential then phi naught is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r and if r tends to 0 then phi tends equals to phi naught.
Similarly, if r tends to infinity, then we obtain phi equals to 0. Here, the boundary conditions can be satisfied. And now on considering equation 7 once again, that is phi equals to phi naught e in the bracket and naught e square upon epsilon naught kt to the power 1 by 2 into x. Here, in this equation, the term in the bracket with the power 1 by 2 that is n naught e square upon epsilon naught kt whole power 1 by 2 can be written as 1 upon lambda d. So that lambda d will be equal to epsilon naught kt upon n naught e square to the power 1 by 2. Here this lambda d is d by length and is a measure of shielding distance or thickness of the sheet and is the distance beyond which the potential becomes 0. Now let's discuss about plasma parameters. Here we can write nd is equal to n 4 by 3 pi lambda d cube. Here nd is number of charged particles in the device sphere which is equal to 1380 t to the power 3 by 2 by n to the power 1 by 2 t in degree kelvins. And Lambda d is very greater than 1. The device shielding distance lambda d is of great importance. In areas smaller than lambda d, electric fields are too weak to take influence in the motion of particles. Thus, quasi neutrality is only be given beyond a given volume of device sphere. The lower limit in space for the occurrence of quasi neutrality is only given in areas greater than this sphere. Thermal motions of particles in dominant within it. Quasi neutrality is therefore a good assumption for studying plasma with a scale length capital L being substantially longer than the Debye length. So lambda d that is Debye length is very less than capital L. This is first criterion. From the equation number 8 we can calculate the volume of Debye sphere that is V Debye is equal to 4 by 3 pi lambda d cube. And from the equation number 9, we get the number of particles in the Debye sphere that is n which is equal to n e lambda d cube which is very greater than 1. This can be a second criteria. In order to define a plasma, a further condition, third criteria must be met. That is omega tau is greater than 1. This is third criteria. Where tau is the average time between collision of the charged and neutral particle is and omega is circular frequency of a typical plasma oscillations. In this video, we have discussed about the plasma criteria and derived the formula for Debye shielding. In our next video, we will discuss pinch effect and instabilities in the plasma. So don't forget to watch our upcoming video. And please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.